everybody, this is Praxis, and today I spent the day working on this retaining wall that goes from the root cellar over to this wall on the chicken coop. When uh, things were left at the initial kind of site work uh, stage, this is where the, uh, where the wall ended, right here. And uh, this was all just kind of a, a hillside of grass, and I wanted to continue this wall along for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I think it'll just look nicer than having just a wedge of hill here. Also, uh, getting this area up here nice and uh, level will make it so it's easier to pick plums off of this tree. There's a plum tree here. Uh, it'll also make it easier to bring a fence off of the side of the chicken coop and kind of off over in that direction. Uh, we'd like to make kind of a, a run area for them over here. Uh, this is the first wall that I've ever built uh, using heavy machinery to do it. Normally when I build a stone wall, it's just you know the biggest rock that I can personally pick up myself. Uh, and this is the first one, like I said, that I've ever uh, used a machine, uh, well, like a gas-powered machine as opposed to like levers and things like that, simple machines, to get the rocks in place. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Some of these rocks were particularly large. Uh, this one in particular, as I was carrying it over here, uh, it's kind of a convoluted maze to get from where I got the rocks down over there. Or Actually, it's more of a labyrinth, I guess, because technically there's only one way through it. Uh, mazes have to have splits and dead ends and things like that. So it's a labyrinth coming over here, and not uh, everywhere is necessarily level. Uh, so there are areas kind of coming around here where the tractor was leaning and there was so much weight in the scoop with this guy in particular, I was legitimately concerned that the tractor was going to roll over. and. Uh, uh, you know, in, in real life, there's no control Z, you know, uh, undo. So I, I didn't want to let that happen. What I ended up doing is dumping the rock and uh, kind of filling in some of the holes and then coming in and getting the rock and backing, backing it up down here. But I was able to get it down here really carefully because, uh, yeah, in real life, there's no control Z. And, uh, uh, you know, added a couple more stones here. There's a pretty big one here as well. But uh, yeah, I'm pleased with how this is coming out. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way up to the foundation wall because I, I do want to put some uh, lath and stucco in here, so I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap so I can do that stuff. I've got the, the wall with the foam covered right now because the chickens, are they started pick, uh, picking little pieces of the, the pink foam out of here. We always tease them that they think it's ice cream. <laughs> so uh, I've got to cover it up with a tarp to try to make it so they can't get at it. This is the only exposed area here. So uh, I'm about two-thirds uh, done with the wall. Just got to bring it up a little bit more here, just a few more stones, and uh, that's it. I'm pleased with this, though. This is the first time I ever ever did this, and uh, I'm, surprised at, uh, I'm surprised at how well it's coming out, because normally there's like kind of a learning curve when you do something for the first time, but uh, uh, I'm proud of myself with this one. It's nice and clean, stable. It's looking good. That's it. Thanks for watching.